Y'all like Patrick Harley J? Ow. Hey. All right, anyway, sorry, y'all. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Life Charlie J, and I'm back here with another video today. So, in today's video, um, I wanted to do an unpopular, unpopular opinion part two. I did part one. Y'all go watch it. I'm going to put it probably down on... I'm going to put it somewhere. Like, if you were going to cheat on Because in my last clip, my last video, I've got to insert a clip. So, Charlie, instead of managers, please remind me to married, put, the years and years and put the clip in. Y'all put the clip in. But anyway, um... Both genders. So, I'm going to be looking over at my yeah, notes like you of, like, my unpopular opinion. So, I don't want to waste y'all time. So, let's get right into it. My first one, Krishan Rock and Blueface. Blueface, but I'm so sick of them. I'm sick of them. Like, I don't know why y'all y'all make them these. I don't know. It's like, they some of y'all idols. And y'all normalize some of the stuff they do. Like, the stuff that they do. It should not be normalized. First of all, toxic relationship should not be normalized. The 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 abuse, the abuse should not be normalized. Like it's just ridiculous what they do. And then with her in the car situation, the girl has no home training. And then Blueface, it's like you, you just support this girl and the dumb stuff she do. So Blueface, baby, Blueface, you downgrading. Like y'all just don't understand that it it irritates me when. I heard about what Chris Sean Rock and Blueface doing, and and, and like on my timeline, like when I be sitting there, I always sit not interested or blocked because I don't want to see them on my timeline. I don't like them, but yeah, Chris Sean and Rock and Blueface should be canceled. They shouldn't. But they shouldn't be a thing in an idol. The stuff they do should not be normalized. Abuse to should not be normalized. Toxic. The toxic relationship should not be normalized. Oh, number two, it is okay to work a nine to five job. I am so sick of people saying, one. I can never work a nine one. to five job. I can Another never. One. Anybody working a nine to five job is bums. One. How do you expect to get money, boo? If, you, if you're not working, where are you at? If you're not working, how do you gonna get money? So how is working a nine to five getting a bum? Make that make sense. Make that make sense. Why working a nine to five is not being a bum. That's called getting money. You not having a, you 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 not having a nine to five with no source of income, that's called a bum. Let's normalize working a nine to five. Like, and it's okay if you. I'm saying if you don't if you're not like an entrepreneur or don't got another business, it's okay to work a nine to five until you get to where you at. Which brings me to number three, toxic relationships. In this generation, I don't know what it is, and this is why I'm single. We normalize this toxic relationships, and I'm not for that. I want somebody who is not toxic, somebody who not go beat on me. Because first of all, domestic violence is not a thing, and it should not be normalized in anybody, male or female. Um, what else? Because y'all, I be see, like my mind. I'm just thinking, but no, um, toxic relationships should not be normalized. Because who want to get beat on? Who want to get cheated on? Who wants to be with somebody who toxic, who love to just wake up and start stuff? No. And I feel like in our generation, we got the we got the thing backwards. A relationship should not be surrounded around drama, negativity, y'all bickering and fighting, y'all calling each other B's and B's and N's. No. Y'all should be helping each other grow spiritually, mentally, and physically. Y'all should be able to be able to be able to talk to one another comfortably. Y'all should be able to trust one another when y'all with or without. Like, let's say if you with that person, you should be able to trust them while you're with them inside the house. Or let's say like they leave to go somewhere. Yo, your gut shouldn't, shouldn't be telling you, hmm, I got to worry about what they doing 24-7. No. Um, I want somebody who I can just see myself growing with and who I can overcome challenges with. And some of y'all don't know how to do that. When things get hard in our relationship, y'all just flop and y'all break up. No, that's not, that's not, that's not how dating should go. Which brings me to number four. Number four, let's start normalizing living in our budget. It is okay. It is okay to not be able to afford all, all everything. And I feel like people always trying to live outside their budget. See me, I ain't doing that. Shoot. If I know the six hundred dollars that I can't afford, first of all, I ain't paying nothing for six hundred dollars if it ain't a house or you know stuff that's important. 
I'm not paying no 600 or what thousand for no Birkin bag. <laughs> Better catch me outside. How about that? Shoot, you go catch me at a garage sale, getting stuff for cheap. But no, let's turn them and like it's okay not to have the money for things. It's okay to not have the nicest things. It's okay to live in our budget because when you live in your budget, you're not stressed about, oh, I gotta worry about me missing the payment on that because you're living in your budget. When you're not living in your budget, then you gotta worry about you not uh, making your payment on time and stuff like that. So that's okay. Number five, let's start normalizing knowing our work. A lot of us act like we, a lot of us just like downplay our work, like we don't know it. When a lot of us have so much that we are work, like stop selling for less, stop letting people treat you like nothing, stop being in these friend groups who are not benefiting you. First of all, your friends should benefit you. Your friends, you should be around a friend group who is supportive and who y'all are growing. If all y'all do is talk about drama and all that, that's not your friend. Shoot. Um, number six, everybody not your friend. A friend to me is a friend who I can call anytime. It's a friend who I don't got to talk to every day. I'm going to say this again. It's a friend I don't got to talk to every day for us to be friends. Because to be honest, I get tired of talking talk to the same people every day. Um, a friend is somebody who go support you, share your posts, um, just stuff like that. A friend is not the definition of, I'm going to call you when I'm in drama. I'm going to only talk to you when I got to talk about somebody. I'm not going to call you to bash somebody. I'm not going to, I'm not going to just call you when I need you. That's not a friend. A friend is somebody who check up on you as well. Like everybody I talk to, I check up on them. Um, Another topic I want to talk about is let's start normalizing telling our friends, family, whoever, when they wrong. A lot of y'all be, mm -hmm. let's say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use somebody, I'm going to just say Jada. Let's say Jada, I I know I know she just, um, she just caught somebody out the head for no reason. And I'm like, mm-hmm, you was right. No, tell them when they wrong. Because if you don't tell your friends or somebody when they wrong, then you, you, you just as fake as that person. And that's why y'all got to watch who y'all be around. If, if, if a person can't tell you when you wrong, they're not your friends. They want to see you obviously do bad things. Because I know if, if you my friend, and if I see, and if I see you doing something wrong, trust me, I'm going to curse you out. And I'm and I'm going into a protective mode. And I'm going to let you know what you did wrong. Um, number eight. Let's start. Let's. Okay, number eight. Stop worrying about what people do in their personal life. Some of y'all be too too um invested into what people do in their personal life if it ain't your life why is it bothering you hmm if it's not you why is it bothering you i don't understand that y'all be so interested like y'all be wanting to get a taste in what that person like or what that person doing if, if it's not you why are you worrying my bad y'all something just blinked over there but if it's not your body if it's not you why why are you worrying about what that person doing let, let that person live their life and do what the heck they want. Why, I didn't curse, y'all. Okay, number nine. Everyone is not meant to be an entrepreneur. I'm not trying to be funny, but some of y'all who be having these businesses, y'all be sloppy. Sloppy, poor customer service, so rude, don't respond back. And it's like, y'all just always mad. And it's like some of y'all... Or just not meant for it. Like, it's okay. Let's start normalizing everybody not being an entrepreneur. Because some of y'all are not meant for it. Everybody not meant for it, everything. Which brings us to 10. Let's, let's, start, let's stop normalizing everybody becoming rappers. Because everybody, everybody not meant to be rappers as well. Just saying. Um, 10. Stop. I mean, I don't know. Whatever. Whatever number this is. Let's start. Let's stop normalizing. Listening to what everybody tell you on so, on social media. Everything you see on social media is not true. So yeah, my thing is, I'm heavy on, on doing my own research before I believe something. Not even that, but like in person, like too. I'm heavy on doing do your own research on stuff. Basically, what I'm trying to say. Um. Okay, my another another topic. I lost the number. Um. Stop going. Be. Stop going above and beyond slash going to war war for for these celebrities who don't care nothing about you 
Stop doing it. Like, y'all be going so hard behind these celebrities who don't know your name, who ain't paying your bills, who ain't checking up on you, who ain't making sure you good, who ain't giving you a stimulus check every month. <laughs> but, no, for real, y'all be so invested. Stop it. Um, my other topic is fighting becomes unnecessary slash being in drama becomes unnecessary when you reach a certain age. Like, when you become in, when you in high school... I would say freshman year is okay, but after your freshman year, if you're still in drama, what are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you in drama? Like, I just feel like if you were around a person who was in drama and you know that you don't belong there, why would you stay there? Get out of that situation because being in drama brings you drama. <clears throat> I'm going to say this. Whoever you hang yourself around, you become. So if you hang yourself around... Negative people, you you gonna become negative. If you surround yourself with positive people, you gonna become positive. If you surround yourself with people who are always in some mess, then you gonna be in some mess. If you surround yourself with people who are trying to better themselves, then you gonna be able to likely to become better. So you see, life follows you wherever you take it. Where whatever step you take, life follows. So make sure that that whatever step you take is positive, right? Um, yeah, and my, and back to my other topic, after a certain age, like, being in that mess stuff is unnecessary, and it's just so dumb, like, y'all be on the ground fighting over what, and then my another topic is, so stop fighting over these people in relationships who ain't got no ring on the finger, what are y'all fighting over, y that y'all ain't even married to the person, and my another topic is, which also brings me to, Stop stressing over the stop stressing over over relationships. We are still young. We still got time. So stop letting these little bit of relationships give you give you, I don't know, just blow your head off. It ain't worth it. Like, come on now. Um, my last unpopular opinion is good good Glorilla is taking over the industry. That's my new favorite rapper. Like, and it's not cause like she's a good rapper. She has a heart of gold. Like, you could just tell when somebody have a heart of gold. And, and, like, when they faking. Every interview I see, she always bubbly, taking pictures. And she don't just take pictures. She review them to make sure that, that both of them look good in them. But this was all my unpopular opinions, part two. I hope y'all liked them. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Love y'all.